Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy R2Js back again with another video. And today I'm just gonna give you a little shot of the kibble that I use when I'm not feeding raw. And don't get me wrong, I feed raw 100% of the time, but when I'm boarding the dogs up in these boarding kennels and stuff, you know, some of them are not big on um, raw feeding. They're, they're, they're school to it, but they're not okay with it yet. So when I do board them, I wanna give them a Victor, a kibble, uh, a good premium kibble that I know that they like that I've been handing them all since they was puppies before I switched them over to raw and just something that's overall good for them. So yeah, if you're looking for a good high quality kibble, I, I really recommend Victor. And as I get into this video, I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Victor High Pro Plus Classic. When choosing the kibble you want to use for your pets, most people will go to that brand and they will turn, flip the bag over and go to the guaranteed analysis section. And they think that this is the most important part of the food. Well, that is false. Yeah, if you look at the crew protein, you'll see that it's at 30%, which is good. You'll see the fat at 20%. Now dogs need fat. Up is where they get their, their source of energy from. So if it's higher in fat, the more energy the dog will have. And being that this is a uh, quality dog food, if you overfeed, your dogs will be hyper. I mean, very hyper. But the two parts that I look at back here is the omega-6 and the omega-3. Now, this is very good for their skin and coat. The higher the omega-3, the shinier their coat will be. But since I'm on a raw-based diet, I supplement that with fish oils, and I add a little fish oil to this, too. But the main ingredient thing that you want to look at when you're purchasing your food is the ingredient section right here. This is the most important of the food that you can use. And if you will notice, out of the first seven ingredients, six of them are meat-based. Like you have beef meal, then you have your grain, chicken fat. Chicken fat is used to hold the kibble together. Pork meal, chicken meal, man, heathen fish meal. And then you also have that blood meal. Those are all high quality ingredients that the big names use. Before I started using Victor, I was feeding Origin. Now, Origin is um, the same thing. It's a high quality kibble, but they are pricey. 24 pounds of that food will cost you about 80 to $90. I have two dogs. That one only lasts two weeks. Now, this is a 50 pound bag that I got off of Chewy for $56. And this will last me a whole month. Now it's gonna last me more than a month because I only feed it to them when I'm boarding. But also, they may get this on the weekends. If uh, I'm out of town working or the kids forget to pull out their raw, the thought for the day. So yeah, this is just an overall good quality, quality kibble that you can get 50 pounds of it from Chewy.com real cheap and it'll last you a while if you don't kill it alone i really 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 recommend this this brand man this brand is out I and mean, this brand is it's just it does wonders for me man before i switched over to raw again all my puppies thrived off it my older dogs thrived off it until i educated myself on the raw food diet which is the best diet your dog can have but if that's not something you want to do because it does consume a lot of time if you make your own or you can order it off offline I, I do a little bit of both, but majority of the time, it's cheaper if you just make your own raw-based diet and use that. And I'm just gonna show you where, when I don't make it myself, I'll show you where I get it from here in just a second. But again, if you want a good quality kibble that's more convenient than raw, Victor High Press Plug. That will, get, this is the best bang for your buck.